Shalom and blessings to everyone. I recently was able to watch a video made by a dear brother in Christ, Brother Sean, who has been raising the awareness about many signs of the end times, including his prophetic dreams and visions that he had so far. I will write his channel name in the description box, along with links of all the video footage that I will use in this video. I was inspired by what Brother Sean mentioned in his latest video when talking about the two suns visible on the sky in different parts of the world, and I was able to find more proof for all the people who are looking for truth and evidence. At the same time, along with our star, another one was born. The lost twin of the sun, made from the same materials under the same conditions. But why do we think that it exists? Well, recently, scientists have launched some statistical models to find out more about the birth of stars. And these models have shown that many stars appear not individually, but in clusters, or at least with one sibling. After more research, scientists confirm that, yep, most stars formed inside molecular clouds are born with a companion. Sometimes these companions stay together. For example, a small star will revolve around a large one. They can even form double, triple, and other star systems. And sometimes, their paths may diverge forever. This probably happened to our sun as well. It could have had a sibling too. Perhaps not even one, but a whole cluster of little brothers and sisters. And one bigger twin with a similar mass and other characteristics. But if that's the case, then where are you, our lost twin? Seven twelve PM July 7th, 2021, 7.47 p.m. Can't wait for winter when there are no leaves and then you could see it all. back up it looks like one when you zoom in clearly there's two
Bro, we got two suns in the sky. We got one over here. And we got one over there. I'm Bro, we got two suns in the sky. We got one over here. And we got one over there. Found a video that says Texas Lightning and UFO. I see a planet. in the sand hell there's the moon what in the sand hell is that what the hell it could be a dwarf star that we can't see because of how dim it is it could be located about one and a half light years away from us this star rotates around the sun in a huge orbit and it approximately takes a whopping 27 million years for it to finish its orbit. And when it gets closest to the sun, it starts to cause complete chaos. While approaching us, this troublemaker changes the trajectories of comets in the Oort cloud or the Kuiper belt. As a result, all these comets start to rush straight toward us. Then they crash into the Earth and cause mass extinctions. This hypothetical star was named Nemesis. It's the name of the ancient Greek deity of retribution. What is it taking revenge on us for? No idea. Perhaps it's a brown or red dwarf. The remnants of a star that has completely depleted its fuel. Or maybe it's not a star at all, but a rogue planet more gigantic than Jupiter. Well, whatever it is, its existence isn't particularly pleasant for us. However, all our attempts to find the culprit, unfortunately, fail. At the moment, we still haven't found any signs of Nemesis. This shows that we are very close to seeing serious and never seen before natural calamities caused by planetary bodies in the sky. This means two things. First, even if you don't believe the things foretold in the prophecies of the Bible, you can still think about what you see in the video collage. Thus you can ask yourself if heaven and hell are real, as the Bible mentions. Secondly, you can do more by showing to others these signs from the videos, and talk about it with your friends. This way, it will help you to get other opinions, and eventually understand why these things are happening now, and how we have to prepare for what Jesus told us that would happen before His second coming on earth. Preparing for the second coming means to repent and pray for forgiveness daily. And if anyone has questions you can direct your questions to Brother Sean's channel and to many evangelical people out there who can explain with calm and sincerity what the rapture and the second coming are about. As a parenthesis I would like to mention that any planetary body such as asteroids, planets, stars, that are passing very close by our solar system or planet, will be able to cause massive changes of our global weather, a change of the gravitational pull of the Earth, and moon, oceans displacement causing giant tsunami waves, electrical storms, intense heat, floods and huge earthquakes. At least we can believe the signs that we see with our own eyes if some people cannot believe the words from the New Testament about the end times also known as the second coming of Christ.